What if I told you that a little scratch could help your seeds sprout faster? Today, we're testing out a simple hack with sandpaper that might just revolutionize your gardening game. I've been doing this little trick for years and I've noticed it works best with cannabis seeds. And now friends, let's dive in. There's so many different ways you could sprout your seeds. As a little boy, I used to use cotton balls, but you could use paper towels, soil, even hydrogen and rock wool cubes. However, on this video, I will be using the Spider Farmer Smart G12 hydroponic system. There is no assembly needed, so basically all I had to do was add two gallons of water and then let the little plugs soak in water for about 20 minutes. And all right, let's talk about the tools. I'm using a super handy little foam pad with 180 grit sandpaper on one side. This grid is fine enough to gently scuff the outer shell of the seeds without damaging them. I'll carefully rub each seed just a bit, making sure not to overdo it. This little scratch can help water penetrate the seeds coat more easily and hopefully speed up the germination. I then place the seeds that are scuffed on the left side and regular seeds that are not scuffed on the right side. And when it comes to the G12 hydroponic system, I believe this little unit is probably the most advanced I've seen of its kind with a super cool screen that allows you to choose between six different presets of vegetables and herbs. And it also has five other customizable modes that allow you to take full control of every single parameter. Moving on to the settings, the first thing I did was adjust the time. And this would be my local time, not the time that the light would be on. When it comes to the water pump, I chose to run it on default. This means the pump will be running for 15 minutes and it would shut off for 30 minutes at a time. You can go in the Spider Farmer app and change the timing to whatever you want. Both the light and the pumps are fully customizable. One of the things that I like about this the most will be the LCD screen. Without it, I don't think you'll be able to have so many different features in such a small package that allows you to do a bunch of different things. For example, this holiday mode automatically maintains the water supply. And not to mention, being able to see your water temperature and exactly your water level, it's definitely a plus. And if by any chance you have this system or a system similar like it, I would absolutely recommend when sprouting seeds to use the little humidity dome. And just in case you're in the market for any Spider Farmer products, be sure to use the discount code GRASS to save you a couple of mac chickens on your way out. friends even though the scuffed side was the only side that had a fast germination rate on at least one seed that made it out of the six the right side also appears to have one seed coming out of the ground even though it's late and it is also the only seed out of that side that was successfully able to germinate this Unfortunately, it's not enough data to make a conclusion. Therefore, I would have to try this experiment again, but hopefully with cannabis seeds, which do have a more successful germination rate. 
If you would like to see that and you made it all the way to the end of this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up as is greatly appreciated. Also, be sure to hit that bell notification if you want to see some flowering plants on the upcoming videos which I should be releasing about two a week. Also, be sure to check out my Patreon if you need a one-on-one -on -one mentoring with your garden. But alright friends, I think that's going to do it for this video. And like I always like to say, I'm not going to take any more of your time because I want you to watch the rest of my videos. So until next time, this is Grass in Class, signing out. Peace.